Well, good morning and welcome to Move Early, Move Often. It is Twisted Tuesday. I am Blake Martin, my co-host in the um, heart and soul of the big city itself, Dr. Thomas Karakolis. Uh, hey, Thomas, I hope you're well. Um, and uh, this morning, we're going to kind of get right to it. We're going to um, do two full repetitions of uh, a version, a variant of the sun salutation, Surya Namaskar. It's um, one of these yoga things that happens all the time, but it's so awesome, um, really, for people who are stuck in chairs for a long period of time, because it focuses on um, a lot of the... Um, so we, we kind of fold front and back uh, when we're sitting in chairs. And so it works on opening these things up. Um, the first time through, uh, so we'll go through left and right, and then we'll go through left and right again. The first time through, I want you to take it really easy. Uh, don't push into the stretches too far. Um, just take time to breathe, take time to be present. We're talking 50, 60% stretch, no more. You don't need to go really deep the first time through. It's almost like a little bit of a warm up. The second time through, we're going to go a little bit deeper, but still, I don't want you going to, you know, uh, 11, you know, dial it back just a little bit. Let's go to seven or eight and uh, let's go for a nice deeper stretch, but nothing too deep. I'm going to turn to face the camera and to the side so you can see what's going on. I'm also going to lead you through it with my words, um, but uh, we'll figure it out as we go. Let's get it. Let's get to it. So uh, you would stand at the front of your mat. I'm going to stand at the back of my mat so you can see me. It's just the way my camera is. And then we'll talk it through. And we're going to start in what's called the mountain pose. Your feet are going to be just, you know, kind of almost shoulder width apart and pointing forward, all right? And you wanna be nice and balanced front and back. Bring your head back so your ears are over your shoulders, shoulders over your hips, hips over your knees, knees over your ankles. And open your chest, your shoulders across your chest so that your heart is exposed. Bring your hands to your heart. This is, we're just, this is just standing pose, mountain pose. And Bring your hands down, sweep them up, and bring them over your head. If your shoulders are really tight and you can't touch your hands together, just let the palms face. Otherwise, take your palms together, gaze upward towards your hands. So if your shoulders are apart, it's like this, all right? And then open your hands like a book and pitch forward at the hips so that your pelvis is tilting forward, come down, forward bend, let the hands go down toward the mat, and let your head hang heavy. Bring your hands to your shins, straighten your back, lengthen your head away from your tailbone, and let it sink back down. I'm not gonna direct your breathing, you're in charge of that yourself. Come back up, hands on your shins, your knees. Extend your head away from your tailbone and sink back down. Step the right leg back behind you. If you can touch the ground, that's great. You can tent up your fingers like this as well. And what I want you to do, I'm going to turn around so you can see the other side, is extend that knee, the back knee, up towards the ceiling. Tuck your chin and elongate your head. We're taking this slow. Again, 50%, you're not going all the way down. Your ankle and knee should be aligned vertically on your front leg. And your heel should be pointing to the ceiling on the back leg. Step back with the second foot and press so that your heels come toward the floor and your ears are going to be kind of between your arms. This is downward facing dog. You've seen dogs in this position. Well, not really because dog's anatomy is different. So they're not really doing this position at all. They're doing something altogether different. Then pitch forward 
So your arms are now in a nice plank. So your hips are uh, now elongated. And again, let your head pull away from your heels. With your elbows close to your body, lower down into a kind of push-up. This is called chaturanga. And then allow your toes to extend. I don't know if you can see this. I'm just moving out like this so that the top of your toes are on the floor. And press up into an upward facing dog. Your shoulders should come away from your ears. You should be looking, gazing the opposite wall somewhere near the ceiling. Just hang here for a second. Curl your toes back under. Press back into a downward facing dog. Lift your right heel slightly and bring your foot up towards your hands. Lower your back knee. And we're just going to do a little variation here. We're going to put our hands on our thigh and press away on that. Just breathe naturally and fully. Don't forget to breathe. Hands back on the floor. Step your two feet together. Come up, rise up, rolling up. So we're standing again. Open your hands. Sweep them towards the ceiling, looking upward. If your hands can meet in the middle, then that's great. All right. Open your hands like a book. Pitch forward so that your hips are going forward. This is not about your back. Your back is straight. And now fold over. You can bend your knees slightly if you can't get a little stretch and just kind of hang forward here. Hands on your shins. Head reaches away from your tailbone. Back down. Micro bend in your knees again if you need to. I certainly need to, especially in the morning. Hands on your shins. Head reaches away from your tailbone, nice and long. Feel that length back down again. Hands to the floor. Bend your knees slightly. Step back with your left leg. This is a high lunge. We're opening in the hip. So our knee is pressing backwards toward the ceiling and our heel is reaching away from our head. Nice long spine. Feel that, just feel that elongating. All right, beautiful. Step back your right foot to match your left. Press your heels towards the floor into downward facing dog. This, again, we're just doing 50% here. You don't need to uh, cry that the stretch is so intense. Reach your heels away from your, from your uh, tailbone and your head should come down a little forward more between your two arms. Shift your weight forward so your shoulders are over your wrists. Plank position. Your head is long. Take time to check your spine. Is it elongated? What's happening with your head? Lower slowly with your elbows close to your ribs into chaturanga. Allow your chest to touch the floor. Let your toes curl away um, and the backs of your toes be on the floor. Press up, upward facing dog. Shoulders roll away from the ears. Looking upwards, feel the openness in your hips. Just breathe here for a second. Curl your toes under. Press back into downward facing dog. Lift the left heel slightly and kick forward so that your foot is placed close to your two hands. You may have to wiggle a bit depending on your level of mobility here. Place the back knee on the ground. Come up, place your hands on your knee, open your heart and your shoulders. 
press away, looking skyward. Right? Place both hands on the floor. Bring your two feet together. And let's just hang here for a moment. And just wiggle your bum back and forth in the official yoga way that everyone wiggles their bum. And then slowly come up. That was round one, round one. I'm coming back to the end here so you can see where I am. Just see what I'm doing. And we're gonna sweep our hands upward, looking heavenward. And if your hands come together, that's great. You don't have to do that. And then open them like a book. Fall forward with your chest first. Long spine, long spine, long spine. And again, I'll turn sideways so you can see if you're looking. And let your head come down. Micro bend in your knees. Hands on your shins, come up. Head reaches away from your tailbone. And slide back down. Bend the knees. Hands on shins, press away, head goes away from the tailbone, back down, and again, hands on the floor, right foot reaches back. This time, I want you to just kind of adjust your foot backwards a little bit, the rear foot, just reach it a little further away. I want you to just take a moment here and just kind of pull that heel far enough away so that you're feeling anteriorly in the front here in your hip, just a little bit more openness. And now reach that knee actively, the back knee, reach it towards the ceiling, the back of the knee, it should be alive. Breathe for a moment here. So we're going a little bit further. We're not going to 11, we're going to like seven. And now reach your second foot back into our downward dog. The back of your knees are active and press the heels alternately walking into the floor. Just pedal from side to side, feeling that depth. Come forward so that you're into a plank position, shoulders over your wrists. Really press the fingers into the floor actively, like almost like they're grabbing the floor. Shoulders down and away from the ears, lower, slowly into a plank position. Tops of the toes are on the floor. Reach up, lifting the chest, pressing up with the arms, upward facing dog. Breathe here for a second. And what I want you to do is, in a very yogic way, I want you to just kind of wiggle your hips a little bit so that you're opening more. Still, we're not going to an 11, we're just going to seven or eight. Curl your toes back under. Press back into downward facing dog. Lift that right heel just slightly off the floor and kick it forward between your two hands. Allow the back knee to go onto the floor. Hands up to the knee. And this time, with your hands, thumbs grab together like they're little eagle wings or something like that, reach upward and away, looking toward the ceiling. Breathe deeply a few times and feel that openness on the opposite hip. Hands down to the mat. Two feet together by your hands. Allow your head to pour down. Rolling up. Palms facing outward, reach to the ceiling. I'll step away so you can see what I'm doing. Look skyward, shoulders down and away from the ears. Open the hands like a book and tilt forward like a little teapot, short and stout. 
Where's your handle? Where's your stuff? Pour your head forward, micro bend in the knees, hands on shins, head stretching away from your uh, sacrum. And back down, micro bend in the knees. And just keep breathing deeply and fully here. Come back up, hands to shins or knees, reaching away. And back down, micro bend. Let's do one more of those, because I liked it. Inhale. You don't have to inhale. You can do whatever you darn well please with your breath. Like I'm going to know. And back down. Hands on floor. Left hand, uh, foot. <laughs> what is that thing? Reaches backwards. And again, let's just wiggle that toe back just a little bit further. Reach a little bit further so that your heel on your rear foot is moving further away from your heel on your front foot. It's kind of trying to, it's trying to run away from your body a little bit. Really activate the back knee so it's lifting towards the ceiling. And you're opening that front hip. And just breathe here for a second. And feel that openness and be active. And then right foot kicks your yoga mat and goes back to reach and match your left foot. And downward dog, and you're going to pedal it out. Pedaling it out. Come forward. Hands are under your shoulders and your fingers are active, grabbing onto the floor. Lower down slowly, elbows near ribs, chaturanga. Good control, chest to floor. Your toes touch on the floor. Lift your chest and your chin, your heart, and then press up with your arms. Upward facing dog. Breathe. Do your yogic wiggling. Just kind of explore that for a little bit. Curl your toes under. Reach back into downward facing dog. Left heels lift from the ground and step forward between your two hands. Place your back knee on the floor. Hands to knee. Press away. Reach forward and up. Breathe, feeling the openness in the opposite hip. Oh, that's glorious. Open your hands. Hands to floor. Two feet together. Allow your head to pour down. Come to standing. Sweep your arms up together and bring them to your heart. And let's do that again. Arms down. And bring them to your heart. One more time. Arms down. Overhead. And bring them to your heart. Stand balanced with your hands near your heart. Think about things that you're passionate about that are important and remember to save energy for those important things. Take your best home. Take your best to the people who love you. Even if it's your cat, even if it's just you, make sure that you save energy for you. I hope you have a wonderful day. You've moved early. Remember to move often. And we'll see you tomorrow for Wobbly Wednesday. Have an awesome day.